it's a really good question. And actually, it, it's funny because like Swift Format's quite an old tool. Like I, I think I, I started work on it in 2016, something like that. So it's like, you know, it's, it's coming up on a decade old. And I, I actually did like a, a podcast with somebody like a, a couple of years after I created it, uh, where I told them like it was basically finished. Like I, I considered it to be in sort of maintenance mode and I was done with this because like, you know, there's only so much you can add to a formatter, right? And, you know, like <laughs> it wasn't like the language was changing that much. Um, and I think the, the pace of development of Swift has actually really accelerated uh, in the last few years. Like it felt like Swift was pretty stable for a long, long time between sort of like the three to five version era. I don't think an awful lot changed and maintaining Swift format during that time was pretty like low effort. It was pretty low maintenance. And since like async away, it's just been an explosion of new functionality, like new keywords in every release, like new things to think about. Um, and I mean, this is a great thing. Like, I, I'm, I'm actually super happy that the language is, is evolving and, and this cool new stuff to play with. But it certainly has made my job a little bit harder. I, I think maintaining Swift format, there's kind of two pieces to it. One is making sure it doesn't break things. Like, you know, if somebody starts using a new language feature and Swift format doesn't understand it, uh, it, it will do something ranging from like not understanding and maybe throwing an error to potentially like corrupting your code in some subtle way. And that's like really bad. And I, I don't want it to do that. And I, I try and keep on top of that as much as possible. Ideally, even like, you know, having it updated to support new functionality before it's out of beta so that like people will never actually see this problem in the world. Um, but there's the, there's a second level of support for features, which is like, you know, with these new features comes new expectations in terms of like formatting. So Swift's formats, thing is that it's not just a formatter it's kind of opinionated and uh, i try and you know have an opinion about like when there's multiple ways to do things i try and have an opinion about which is the best way or you know which is a good way um and i try and like add format rules that will will you know enforce that so that code bases can be kept consistent that's kind of the point of the, the tool and i mean where necessary i'll make it configurable because you know not everybody will agree about the best way but like usually people will have an opinion on what the best way is and i try and let them automate that rather than having to kind of like do it manually so yes there's a there's a lot of stuff that's been added to the language where i haven't yet really had time to form an opinion about like what to do about this so you know things like typed throws should i be writing a like you know rule that will convert untyped throws to typed throws is that even feasible like i don't know like i haven't had time to look into that yet what i have had time to do is make sure that if you use typed throws then you know it's not going to break your code and i think that's that's kind of the bare minimum